Uh, our next speaker is Her Excellency uh, Dr. Sharon Sherman Chowdhury, Honorable Speaker of the National Parliament, Government of Bangladesh. When we approached Her Excellency, she went through the details of the session. And when she saw that it's every woman, every child, she said, no questions asked, I'm coming. And uh, Your Excellency. Honorable Chair, His Excellency Mr. Jagat Prakash Nada, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, and also the Vice Chair of PPD Board. Guest of Honor, His Excellency Mr. Mohammad Naseem, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of the PPD Republic of Bangladesh, Honorable State Minister for Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Ms. Saima Wajid, Member, WHO Expert, Advisory Panel on Mental Health, and also the Chair of the Board of Autism in Bangladesh, Her Excellency U.S. Ambassador to Bangladesh, Distinguished Representatives of UN, UNICEF, Tunisia, China, Secretary, Ministry of Health, Dr. Joe Thomas, Executive Director, Partners in Population Development, PPD, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates and Participants, Esteemed Guests from Home and Abroad, Media Representatives, Ladies and Gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to you all. It is a great pleasure for me to be here joining this inaugural session of the 12th International Interministerial Conference on Population and Development taking place in Bangladesh. I thank the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare of the Government of Bangladesh and also the Partners in Population and Development, PPD, for organizing this event and for the kind invitation extended to me to be here and share some thoughts with you this morning. This international interministerial conference focuses on every woman, every child, every adolescent, a South to South perspective on survive, thrive, and transform. Every Woman, Every Child is a global strategy of UN Secretary General focusing on women and children's health. It is a call made. It was made in September 2010 to bring together governments, private sectors, UN, multinationals, civil societies, NGOs to address the critical health challenges facing women and children. This led to a global movement of intensifying efforts at national and international level in scaling up and prioritizing high impact interventions, integrating efforts across different interconnected sectors as health, water, sanitation, nutrition, etc. This is a comprehensive approach and was reflected in the Millennium Development Goal 4 and 5 the global community's commitment. This strategy was also coupled with a global oversight mechanism to ensure delivery. The Commission on Information and Accountability for Women and Children's Health reported in 2011. One out of 10 recommendations of the Commission was to create an independent expert review group for regular reporting to UN on progress and results. This strategy and call of every woman and every child brought the issue of women and children's health to the center of global attention. It succeeded in drawing attention of global and national stakeholders to make women and children's health a serious strategic priority and to mobilize a renewed commitment for action. A partnership was formed to take the agenda forward. Partnership for Maternal, Newborn, and Child Health, PMNCH, in 2005. And it emphasized that investments in reproductive, maternal, newborn, and child health, RMNCH, would yield positive results. 
Therefore, this global strategy set the stage for promoting women and children's health by specifying six key elements. Country-led health plans, comprehensive integrated interventions and services, integrated care, health system strengthening, health workforce capacity building, like in Bangladesh we are doing, skilled childbirth attendants, coordinated research and innovation. Investment in women and children's health has been emphasized as a key component. Bangladesh has made remarkable progress in the area of every woman, every child, and also in promoting maternal health by reducing maternal mortality, reducing infant mortality, making progress in enhancing nutrition, and I want to congratulate our Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her government for the achievement of Bangladesh in the area of human development. And now Bangladesh serves as a role model on many of these issues globally. Bangladesh has ensured 100% coverage of vital registration system to be attained by 2021 reducing adolescent pregnancy through mass awareness, increasing family planning services, promoting delivery and through expansion of community clinics. Community clinic is an innovative step which takes the health services to the doorsteps of the people in the rural areas. Increasing the number of community health workers in the community clinics and also training child, skilled childbirth attendants developing a national program for mental health for young and adolescent, developing a national program for reducing violence against women and children, greater use of information technology, mobile and cell phone networks for the benefit of pregnant mothers and maternity care, nutrition support for child and adolescent by ensuring universal implementation of integrated management of childhood illness programs and many more, the list goes on. Commendable initiatives have been undertaken and we are already reaping the benefits and we are seeing the results of all the different initiatives which have been taken in the health sector. PPD is an important anchor of the South-South development cooperation and de definitely this intergovernmental entity deserves congratulation for enhancing partnership among the developing countries. PPD needs to interact more in terms of knowledge, technology sharing and also experience as well as in the human resource development arena. We are proud to host the Secretariat of PPD here in Dhaka, and Bangladesh government ensures all support for enhancement of South-South cooperation under the umbrella of PPD. So far during the last decade, we worked to achieve MDGs in developing countries. Now it is a new scenario in the development arena globally. Moving to SDG framework, the work must continue with renewed enthusiasm. We now therefore also bring in adolescent girls within this fold. This is a very interesting time to talk about our renewed commitment on women, children, and adolescent girls' health. It is a time to examine the country health plan and to see how collaborative efforts at the South-South cooperation level can take this initiative forward. Some of the very pertinent components in taking forward this agenda will be discussed in this conference in the different sessions, which I am confident will make valuable contribution. It is important to step up integrated interventions to ensure budget allocation, identify the obstacles, and take measures to eliminate the same. We need to share how to enhance finance to support national plans of action, how to mobilize additional financial support at domestic and global level, how access to reproductive health services for adolescent girls can be ensured. Everywhere the socioeconomic situation is not the same. It is therefore important to take account of the discrimination and disparities that exist while we formulate the policies to address these issues. South-South cooperation and partnership signifies the commitment that we want to do it together. 
It is a common challenge, and thus we need to work together in achieving the goal that will bring about positive and qualitative changes in the lives of women, children, and adolescent girls to survive, thrive, and transform. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Excellency. I think perhaps, <clears throat> perhaps that summarizes Bangladesh government policy emphasis on health and well-being of the population in this country, and its particular emphasis and need for resource allocation, additional resource allocation, and also the area of partnership, and also the area of um, South-South partnership as a key component of achieving the health and well-being of um, uh, people of Bangladesh.